Hey there YouTube, I just wanted to show this underneath the Expedition real quick. Um, this isn't a train horn, just a you know regular air horn. I've got two of them. But you know, everyone that installs these things calls them train horns. Uh, in my mind, the only things is a train horn is a train horn off of a train or something you buy from horn blasters that actually sounds like a train. So these are just, uh, they're, uh, I believe they're four, yeah, yeah, they are four trumpet. One, two, three, let me see, one, one, two, three, four. And then on the other side, you can see it a little better there, four trumpet. These are old, man. I probably put these on, oh boy, back in like maybe 2007, something like that. But these, these are just eBay specials. They are like, I don't know. 35 bucks each 30 bucks each something like that i've had to change these solenoids out a few times over the years because they don't last the little seat in there with the rubber seal uh wears out you could take them apart and clean them up and oil them up and they last a little longer but uh i just i just put some some new ones on there and you know just wired it back up real simple both of them you just run the ground wire to a ground point right here and then the two positives, I actually have them running up to a relay. And then the relay goes to the factory horn positive. So the factory horn sounds, all of these sound, and you actually get true battery power from a relay. You know, you're not starving the the horn fuse or you're not going to pop any fuses or anything. But I just thought I'd show that real quick under here. Um... You know, just use a couple self-tappers on each side and just got a piece of angle iron. Real, you know, real simple to do. There's tons of room under this vehicle. I mean, you can't see them once you get out here. It's totally, you know, hidden. But that's where I put them on here. Um, and in the back, I've got, I believe I got like a little Firestone pump and a one-gallon air tank. I'm not even sure. I've changed that pump out once, too. We'll go back there and look, though. It's filthy. It's been there forever, but stand by. All right, here we are back here in the back of the vehicle. And like I said, I put this on like in 2007, I believe. Starting to get a little rust on the tank. You know what? That's not even a gallon, is it? Yeah, yeah, this is. It's a one-gallon tank. Vire used to make a one-gallon tank. Uh, I haven't been able to find them this small, though, recently. But it was a good size. It tucked right in there real nice. And I just, you know, threw this together. At the time, this was like $20, man. Prices have really gone up. Put a bolt it right to the frame there. And, uh, you know, you just, you've got your air port coming in there. That's coming in from the, no, I'm sorry. That's come, that's going out to the horns. And then this here is coming in from the compressor. Um, yeah, this right here comes in from the compressor. And, uh. Trying to see, does that have a check? Yeah, that has to have a check valve in it somewhere. Oh, yeah, you know what? The check valve's on the other side of the compressor. Yeah, okay. So there's a check valve. The airline just goes in, fills the tank up, and then you got pressure all the way in the quarter inch line all the way to the front. When you honk the horn, it lets the air out of those uh, two solenoids you saw. Here's here's a pressure switch right here. Um, this one here is a 95 PSI pressure switch. I've got some higher ones, but that's all this needs, 95 PSI. And the uh, compressor's right there. I don't even remember what brand this is. I thought it might have been a Firestone. I have no idea. It really doesn't even matter, does it? Let's see. That could just be a generic one. Like I said, I've replaced it a couple times. But here's a little check valve right here. That way the air doesn't leak past, you know, back in the head and past the rings. And uh, here's the little air filter for it there, you know, the filter there when it comes in. It's really all there is to it. And uh, I've got a little air chuck back here, you know. You can air up your tires or whatever you need to do. This line is actually the yellow line that comes with the Hadley air horns. This is actually really good stuff here. It's really thick. You can see it's DOT air, air brake line there. But yeah, just a real simple little 
setup. I threw it together. Not a kit I bought. Just real cheap back in the day. It still works. Best thing about this whole thing is the little air chucks. I've saved a lot of people on the side of the road with that over the years. You know, who had a flat, t you know, once I put a spare tire on and they didn't have air in it or, you know, whatever. That, that's been real good. Also, when I when I got a flat and I got a run flat on it out in the desert, uh, I threw the spare on it. The spare was damn near flat. That got me pumped back up. And since then, since that video, I went down and put a brand new tire on here. I'm not taking any chances. Got a brand new spare. And I sized it right to, to these uh, tires that are on here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I, I guess I could show you how it works here. Stand by. All right, so it's all wired, so it's it's all automatic. There's no switches or anything else. Um, if you get a leak in it or something, it won't turn on unless the key's on. These horns actually sounded better, like back in 07. When I put them on, they sound a little high-pitched now. But uh, the key's on right now, so it's all hooked up to the factory, you know, thing. See, the compressor turns on, you can hear it. And as soon as it airs back up, it'll go ahead and kick off. The vehicle's not running, it's gonna take a little longer there. If it's running, it'll go a little quicker. But uh, that's that. Like I say, when the key's off, the whole system's off. When you turn the key on, it, it's ran to a relay, and, you know, it's it's the pump's relayed, the, the solenoids are relayed, so it's all automatic. It works well. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Just an old project from many, many, many years ago.